Target reached out to Synlabs about collaborating on a creative space that was filled with lots of opportunities for both interaction and magic and excitement and holiday cheer. We were really excited by this possibility, of course, and we started talking about what that might look like, and the back and forth with the creatives really stimulated a lot of ideas inside, and before long, Target really got excited about the idea of creating a whole wonderland in this amazing 16,000 square foot space in the meatpacking district. So the wonderland experience starts when you enter the front door. And once your number is called, you step up to the front of the line, and when you flip that light switch, the lights come on and angels sing. You move through the Mariomatic. This is a ball machine where balls get teleported. They don't just move through this machine, they move into these little boxes and get zapped from one box to another. Balls move you know, right through Frosty the Snowman and get turned into energy. And that energy turns into wind power, which then powers a giant paddle wheel, which pulls balls right out of the body of the machine again and plays musical instruments. But these aren't real musical instruments, these are pots and pans. And the Mariomatic is just the first stop on a really magical journey. You enter a long hallway, which is sort of the, the transformational moment where you're now entering Wonderland. You come in and you're faced with the giant Etch-a-Sketch. Basically an Etch-a-Sketch built around an 80-inch television. I'm a huge fan of remote control toys of all kinds. I feel like there isn't enough of that in the modern toy store. Our Sea World has both the Flying Zone and the Peppermint Raceway as their sort of primary focal points. Um, the Flying Zone, of course, allows you to fly uh, Millennium Falcons with light-up rings and light-up platforms so that you had goals. Target sells a really cool nightlight that's made to look like a giant Hulk fist coming out of your wall. We tore them apart 4,000 solder joints later, it shouts out Hulk smash, and the whole tree lights up and goes crazy. And then of course, littered throughout the space, there's switches and buttons that just do things. I've really wanted to do a plush wall where you could poke your head in from behind and your ET and in amongst a whole sort of field of plush toys. Building a kids safe Lego pirate ship of this scale is no small undertaking. We also wanted to have a ball pit surrounding it, so we had to build a giant cove around it and then bridges coming in and out of it that allowed people to gain access to both the ship and the ball pit. The kids seem to absolutely love it. Santa calling is one of those pieces that the basic idea of being able to engage with Santa, the whole design of the system is, is built really around the suspended speaker that we've got. So we create kind of a private space in a public environment. Santa can hear almost everything going on so when Santa comes up on the screen, he already knows all kinds of things about the kid, and kids love that. It's a really exciting and fun, magical moment. So it's, it's a space that's just filled with energy and toys and whimsy and excitement and unexpected adventure.